Hi everyone, how you doing? My name is Dale, Dale Hughes. Um, welcome to the Utility Warehouse. Welcome to the Sack the Boss team. I'm recording this message because we get lots and lots of people joining. And we want to make sure you get a fantastic start. I know you've joined because you want to make significant income. You can earn as much as £300 from helping somebody save money. And you can build that royalty income that will set you free financially. So I'm going to go through the do's and don'ts, the best practices. Before I do start, I'm a senior group leader. It just means I've got to quite a high rank in the company. I'm in the top 160. There's 70,000 partners. Um, I've got a business that does about £22 million a year in annual sales of utilities. And I've managed to build that starting just myself in my house in Glasgow. And by introducing other people, over the years, we've built quite a large organization. So I really want to show you how you can do the same. Income-wise, the best month I've ever had from Utility Warehouse was 12, sorry, 18,400 odd pounds in one month. That was an upfront income. And I consistently generate just over 3,000 pounds a month purely in royalty income. Now, royalty income is money that's paid to you even if you don't go to work. So it's like a basic wage that grows every month, but you don't have to go into work. So I've managed to build that to over £3,000. So I tell you those two things about my upfront income and my residual income for one thing only. You don't know me, and I just want you to understand that I'm only trying to help, and there's a hopefully a bit of credibility that I have achieved a high rank in the company, I've been quite a large earner with the company, but I want to help you. Okay, so all I'm going to do to you is run through best practice and advice. If all you do is listen to what I'm going to run through with you here, you're going to build a really big business. And like I say, it can change your life financially. So I'm going to share some slides with you. So if you just bear with me. So what we've got here is what I would call the UW strategies for success. I started building, um, I started Utility House back in 2009 and I struggled, right? I really struggled. And I put it down for a long time and I never really actually got back to work with Utility House until almost nine years later, 2018 is when I really started trying to do it properly. So I'm going to run through where my failures were so that you don't make those mistakes and where my wins were so that you can copy what works. First of all, when you start a new business, if you're in the real world, you know, before you think of your utility warehouse business, a traditional business, here's a horrible statistic. Nine in 10 businesses fail within three years. Horrible. People, These are people that have invested their own money. They've went to the business gateway. They've wrote a business plan. They've then went to the bank. They've organized funding. Then they went and you tied into a lease for a premises. They've ordered stock up front. They put all their blood, sweat and tears, time and effort into that business and only one in 10 businesses makes it a horrible start. Why am I starting with that? Because I want you to treat this like a real business. Please don't treat it like a job. When I started, I treated this like a, a lottery ticket. I treated this business like, OK, I'll maybe look at that daft utility thing. And you know what? It paid me that. It paid me like that because I was not giving it proper attention so what I mean I was getting you know my first paycheck from utility warehouse was seven pounds for a whole month seven pound but as I said you know you know maybe four or five months ago I get eighteen and a half thousand pound two months ago it was twelve and a half thousand pound like last month it was seven and a half so significant income monthly dropping in so what starts small grows big but look traditional businesses are not easy to start this one, if you do it wrong, can be a whole pile of chaos for you. But if we get you starting right, it can be really, really lucrative. So we want you to follow a proven system. Utility House started 27 years ago. Uh, they started in a pub in Henley and Thames in London. And over the years, they've grown and grown and grown. Where this year, you know, we're a £1.4 billion company listed in the London Stock Exchange. We're bigger than most of our competitors. Uh, we've been trading longer than most of our competitors. The only difference between us and the brands you see on TV is we don't advertise on TV. 
But we offer the same products and services at better pricing, with better customer service, UK-based. We've got more awards. The difference is we just don't waste money in advertising, okay, especially the tele adverts. So when you join this business, I want you to do one thing first. Make a decision that you're going to be a professional at this. Don't treat this like a lottery ticket. Don't treat it like a hobby. You know, you're probably in a job that you're not over the moon with or your life right now isn't hunky-dory. It's why you joined. But if all you do is treat this with a lack of respect, it's not going to pay you. If you choose it with respect, oh my God, it's going to set you free. So the first thing we want to do with you is build a business plan. You do that with your mentor. The person who introduced you to Utility Warehouse is going to help you build a business plan. If the person who introduced you is not helping you do that, go to the next person up on the line. Who introduced them and ask to speak to that person? And if you have to go all the way up that it means you speak to me, then great. Get somebody who will help you build your business plan. Once you've built that business plan, now we need to show people your business. You've built the plan, let's expose your business to these people. Because it's only by showing people Utility Warehouse that you are going to then have uh, responses that you can then start to sort. Negative responses and positive responses. So we sort, sort through those responsive. Then with the responses we get, we work with the positive ones. Diary the negative ones or diary the ones that didn't come back to us for six months down the line. But with the positive ones we get, they're the ones we want to interact with. With the help of your upline sponsor, we then show these people that are uh, showing interest in your business how they can save money, how they can make money. We get them signed up and then we teach them that there's a proven success system. It's not difficult. But again, like anything in life, you know, making scrambled eggs isn't difficult. But you know, if you throw the whole egg in with the shell, <laughs> it's not going to turn out all that good. So what was really simple, because somebody didn't follow a system, they made a really simple task a disaster. This business is so the same. You need to follow the system, okay? So the first thing in your business plan is you need to use a memory jogger. In the fast start plan, so in the partner portal front page, when you've got your, you know, all, your, all the bulletins, oh, on the right hand side, there's a wee button that says search. In there, you type fast start plan. And when you're in the fast start plan, there's a folder at the top right where the plus, the back and forward arrows are. Go into the folder and you get that memory jogger. Now, you need to sit with the person who introduced you or your mentor, sit together face to face over a coffee or face to face on a Zoom call and sit and work through that memory jogger together. If R-O-G-S, frogs, friends and family, get them all down. Recreational contacts, get them all down. Occupational contacts, you know, my last job was uh, an Audi dealer, 200 members of staff in that building. Did I know them all? No. But I tried to remember as many as I could and got their names written down in a sheet of paper. I didn't have their phone numbers. I didn't have them connected in social media. But at this stage, we're not organising a reach out, we're organising a business plan. And the best business plan is a big business plan. So you need to get the list to 200 or more. You have to do that. You're maybe sitting there thinking, I don't know 200 people. That's what I thought. Well, do you know what? When you look at the amount of contacts you've got on your phone, I bet that will really help get towards the 200. Then you look at the amount of people you've got connected to you in your Facebook, then your Instagram, then your Snapchat, then your Telegram, then your, you know, all these different things. And what you realise is you actually do know loads of people it's just you maybe don't know loads of people right this second. Even more important to build that plan because the plan means you're never at any point in the next six months going to run out of people to speak to. Don't prejudge your list. This is where a lot of people will fall down. So, for example, friends, memory joggers, when you go to occupational contacts, first one it says, who did you work with? Maybe there was somebody that you worked with that you didn't like. So you think, oh, I'm not going to write their name down. That would be wrong write their name down. We're not saying we're going to contact them, but this is about doing the task of building a big plan. This is the difference between your success and your failure. And remember, every single person before you, there's 70,000 partners, every single person before you has done this task. It is why they now don't have to listen to an employer anymore. They don't get told what to do anymore. They don't have to clock in and clock out. They've managed to buy their life back buy their time back, and they're in control. 
but it starts with a plan. The easiest customer you're ever going to sign up is actually the customer that joins off the back of being a partner, okay? So when you join Utility Warehouse, you can be very tempted to go out and become what we would call a utility geek, a utility rep. The company's called Utility Warehouse, so you can understand why folk, if we haven't caught them and we haven't educated them, they go out talking about utilities, right? But by talking about utilities, it leads to quite a lot of rejection because, you know, people don't know you as a utility warehouse expert or you've just joined. They maybe know you as a, a nurse or a doctor or, you know, you're a, a dental surgeon or a radiologist. That's who uh, somebody that joined yesterday, a radiologist. So when somebody from a radiology background joins utility warehouse and goes out talking about energy and broadband, their network are going to be sceptical. It's only natural. It's a human reaction. So it's important for you as a new person to make sure that what comes out of your mouth is attractive to your network. Because if what comes out of your mouth is unattractive, your network won't listen. So therefore, you won't get to show them your business. But if it is attractive, they'll listen and you get to show. Really simple. So what I've wrote down here is the easiest customer, as I say, is going to be off the back because you recruit a partner and then you also help that partner become a customer because you can't recommend something you're not using. So every partner is going to become a customer at the back and they're way more likely to be a customer because they want to be able to make the money through promoting Utility Warehouse. So you get even less objections because now they're like, oh, I just want like, just get me signed up as a customer. I want to start making money. The focus is on them being a partner and making money, not being a customer to save 20, 30 pound a month. Also, if you lead your conversations with the income, it creates additional income streams for you. You're paid on the activity of your team and it also duplicates. Uh, and I'm going to get a video to play in a minute that explains that. The reason it's so important is John Paul Getty, who was one of America's richest ever um, gentlemen, he was a, uh, quoted as saying, he'd rather have 1% of the efforts of 100 people than 100% of his own effort. So if you just think about that, he's saying, Rather than him doing all the work to get the same result at the end, he'd rather get 100 people where he only gets 1% of what they do, so they're still getting almost all of it. He's just getting a wee tiny bit of what they do, but there's 100 of them, and it, is, it equates to the same result at the end. The difference being, he's not doing the work. He's getting paid from the work of others. It's called leverage. It's how the wealthy get paid. Anyone who's not in a job but still has a nice lifestyle, has leverage. They've got assets that pay them on a monthly basis, allowing them to have an income without going out and being caught in that rat race. Now, I call it the rat race not to be um, rude. I was in the rat race myself right up until 2018. So I've been there for 20, 30 years. So I'm not talking it down. I'm just saying there is a real difference between people who have to go to work every day to get a paycheck and people who get a paycheck regardless because they've got assets paying them instead. Hopefully you can see that which one is the better of the two. Here is why duplication is so important. Here is why leading your conversations with the opportunity is so important. It's why we call the team Sack the Boss. Okay, please listen closely to this video. Say, for example, someone you know wants to earn an extra income. Let's call her Sally. You help her get started, and she introduces her friends as customers. You get paid for all the people she introduces, and it doesn't stop there. Now, imagine some of Sally's friends also decide that they would like to earn extra money and join as partners as well. Well, you also get paid every month for all the people Sally's team introduces. We call this group income. And here's how it works. Let's imagine you find five people, like Sally, who want to earn an extra income as a utility warehouse partner. Over time, each of them also finds five like-minded people. Now, those 25 people also introduce five more each. That's an extra 125 partners in your team. Let's go down one more level. Those 125 people find five more each too. You now have a growing team of 780 partners and you only introduced five yourself. And you guessed it, you get paid on all the customers those 780 partners introduce. Let's imagine, with help and the free training, each of those partners gather on average just 10 customers each. 
That means you would get paid on all 7,800 of these customers. How much? About 30 pence every month for each customer, which in this example would be 2,340 pounds a month. That's more than the average salary in the UK. How would this extra monthly income help you? And it doesn't have to stop there. You can keep growing your team and your income will continue to go up. And with a no quibble refund guarantee on the joining fee, there's nothing to lose and everything to gain by becoming a utility warehouse partner. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. What that diagram shows is leverage. It started with one person. Now, that is exactly how my team grew. It started with me. I introduced a couple of people who were uh, open-minded to making some money, and they then all introduced some other people who were open-minded to making some money, who introduced some other people who were open-minded to making some money. And it's like a snowball. It starts dead small, but it rolls down that hill, and it slowly gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and eventually you can't stop it. Continues to grow, continues to expand. The Sack the Boss team, there's now uh, over 1,500 of us all over the UK. We're in all four parts of the UK. Some of them are actually based abroad, working abroad, doing it online because they've got UK contact bases that they can keep in touch with to, to, to work with. So it's a really powerful way they've been able to work remotely from anywhere that's got internet access, helping people, because not selling anything, we're helping people save money and make money. And you're building that asset that pays you that royalty income. Now, that example there, you could probably do that in three years part-time. Part-time around your full-time job. So if you just take a pause for a second and think of where you are right now today. If you were to give five hours a week consistently, so you need to cut out some TV programs, maybe you need to cancel your Netflix subscription. They don't put money in your pocket. But if you did that consistently, for three years and you had two and a half grand coming in your bank as a result that would continue to grow and pay forever even if you then stopped working would that not surely be better than the trajectory you're maybe currently on where you've possibly got you know the average salary in the UK is 27 grand but you have to keep turning up every month until you're I believe it's now 71 until the retirement age or do something like this over and above your normal job, build that asset in the background so that it sets you free so you could retire 20, 30 years earlier than the government's got planned for you. That is why so many people join the Utility Warehouse. But if we don't get you understanding from day one what you've what you've joined, what you, the massive opportunity you've got in front of you, if we let you join where you just think that you're a, a broadband sales rep or an energy sales rep, we're doing you a disservice. It's why I record this video. Right, we've built our business plan. Now we need to categorize our list because we want to get that duplication happening that we just, we just saw. You already understand how important building your list is. We covered it in Getting Started, during which you are encouraged to build your list with people you know well. In Getting to Future Team Leader, you expanded your list with new names, including people you know less well. And you tailored your script to reflect how well you know each of your prospects. To get to Team Leader, you're going a step further by identifying those on your list ideal for the business opportunity and who could go on to become a partner in your team. For example, on your list, Andrew is driven, ambitious and already successful in what he does. He's popular, really positive and enjoys his travels. Of course, we want to approach Andrew to save him money, but our primary focus is to show him this fabulous business opportunity. By identifying his positive attributes, you can tailor the script you use for Andrew. Hi Andrew, just a quick call. I'm really focused on expanding my business this year and I really need your help. I was thinking of all the most successful people I know and you came top of the list. How soon can we get together so I can run an idea past you? I'm free Tuesday and Thursday evening. Now you try it. Go down your list and think of keywords that best describe each person. For example, John, charitable. Sally, fun. Peter, organized. And then you'll have a really good idea of ways to complement them in your script. 
Okay, so we've built our business plan. Now we've categorised the list. We're about to go to the smart, ambitious, motivated people. So now we need to share Utility Warehouse to them. And we share by using the tools that are provided by Utility Warehouse. We don't share by talking and, you know, because new partners don't yet have the knowledge or the skill. But all the knowledge and the skill that's required has been put into the magazines. So you can get physical magazines from the partner portal. You know, it explains our cashback card. It explains our, our charitable foundation about helping the environment. It's company history from the day one right through to we're turning over, over a, a billion pound. And then it's a really good in the middle where it shows questions all about why somebody might want to become a partner, how much they can earn. So rather than you get involved in conversations where people are going to ask you questions you don't know the answer to, we share a tool. The tools we have are the UW magazine. So there's the digital link on screen. So you could just send somebody that link and they can access a copy of this magazine magazine in PDF form. You could send them the send them the short video about earning money. Send them one of the utility house stories relevant to their occupation. Or if you're asking for a practice call, because you're using the script to get your practice appointments in before you go out doing real appointments. Send them the training invite link, uw.link forward slash exclusive dash invitation. And Ben Fogel will explain to them that they you need their help to do some practice appointments. The key here is using the tools. Let the tool do the work. Use the tools. Don't be the tool. Okay? Don't be the tool. You're yapping and yapping. Two, two ears, one mouth. You should be listening to what they say. Give them tools, listen to what they say, and then talk about what they tell you they liked. Not, oh, this is amazing, this is amazing, blah, 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 and you just tell them everything you think is important. They haven't seen a tool. They haven't seen a video. You hit them with all this information that you think is relevant. It's actually not relevant to them. They tell you they don't think it's for them or they're not interested, and you've actually blown that inquiry. Somebody that could have been a positive inquiry, you kind of ruined it. Because of your own excitement and not following the system. Because you just went right out there and started yapping away. I'm just trying to make sure you get you understand there's a right way and a wrong way. So a useful conversation starter. How do we start the conversation? Well, you could send somebody a message. Hi, John. It's a quick message. The business I'm partnered with is expanding rapidly. We're looking for switched on people. And I thought of you. We're giving them a compliment. By complimenting people, you're going to get them responding. How soon have you got 10 minutes or, you know, would I be able to send you a link to a video? You know, it doesn't need to be difficult. You could just quickly put that text in your own words, a quick call, a quick text. And, you know, the business is expanding and you've complimented them saying they're switched on. If you give somebody that compliment and ask them to look at something, they're not going to say no. You've just told them they're switched on and you want their feedback. So when you then ask them for the feedback, they would, they would almost be being rude. To, to not say, yeah, I'll have a look at what you've got. And that's all our job is. Not to sell, not to convince, to put, to put the information in front of people so they can decide. In the same way somebody put the information in front of me, the guy who introduced me handed me a book and said, read that if you like to make money. I'd never even met him. I read the book. The book, the tool did the work. The tool upgraded my thinking. And I messaged them back and I says, by the way, can I get involved in that, please? Now, had he sat over a coffee and told me all these bits of information, at the end of it, I would have maybe thought, I don't know if I can do that. That sounds too complicated. But he made it so uncomplicated by using a tool. And that's what you need to do. Remember, the more you're talking, the more difficult you make the position look. Where do we track all these people we're talking to? We track everyone in the app, the My Planner app. If you're not going to, you need to be able to run an organized business. And in my experience, most people are not that organized. They've got bits of paper over here, over here. They've got notes in their phone. They've got notes in a book in the house. Everything needs to be in one place. Utility Warehouse have built, they spent hundreds of thousands of pounds on this app to ensure that you've got the tools that you need. <laughs>
it makes it really easy to keep a record of your potential customers, add information about their utility services, and book and manage appointments all in one place. The app has been designed to help newer partners jumpstart their journey with UW and get on the fast track to new customers' learnings. But it's not just for newcomers. Seasoned partners can use it to mentor their teams, instill good habits, and introduce essential tools for success right from the start. This app is your roadmap to success. It's efficient, straightforward, and focused on what you need. The new home screen makes it really easy to see what to do next, from learning about how to get earnings, to adding a potential customer profile, sharing a sign-up link, and booking a meeting. Are you looking to build a list of people you can help save with UW? Or maybe you've spoken with someone and want to keep their details handy. The app lets you add the details of your potential customers in just three clicks. Now you're all set to follow up with them. Gone are the days of spreadsheets and scribbled notes. With the Partner app, you can keep information about your potential customers' current utility services in one place, in your pocket. You can add as much or as little information as you want, from their mobile supplier to their broadband contract end date. The more info you capture, the more insights the app can provide for each potential new customer. So you can determine the best bundle for them, effectively maximising their savings with UW. The app even makes booking and managing appointments simpler too. And you won't ever have to worry about missed appointments or forgotten follow-ups. Schedule meetings, get reminded about them and keep track of how they went so you can stay on top of who's ready to sign up and who needs more time. And it's not just appointments and the bundles that the app gives you insights into. Ever shared a sign-up link and wondered if your potential customer checked out UW's offerings? With our app, you won't be left guessing. You'll see exactly when they open the link and where they are in the sign-up process. And if they're stuck midway, you'll know just the right time to step in and help out. We've made it our mission to make this app work even harder for you. And it's truly the best it's ever been. So download or update the app today for free via Google Play or the App Store. If you haven't used it before, trust us, there's no better time to start than now. And this is just the start. We're continuously investing in this app, planning more exciting updates and upgrades. And as always, your feedback is super important to us. So if you have any thoughts about how the app can be even better, we want to hear from you. Ready to make the most of your UW journey? Okay, so that's what you need to use to manage your business. Okay, organization is critical. Read to sort the responses that you get after you share the tools. You're using the script, sharing the tools, the videos, the magazines. Now you're going to start getting responses. Some of them are going to say, yes, I'd love to know more. Your task is to, great, John, brilliant, you want to know more. When are you free for 20 minutes? And I'll show you how it works. You get them on to an appointment. And you show them the slides of of Utility Warehouse. The slides is what's going to take their knowledge and education of UW from down here to up here. You can't do anything without getting those slides in the prospect's head. They need to see the slides. Some folk are going to ask you some questions or want some more information. That's where you use them a second tool. So if the first tool you gave them was the video, uw.co.uk forward slash earn, their response is, hey, sounds interesting. How does it work? Need a bit more information. I'm not saying, yeah, I'm not, I'm just, I'm not sure. Oh, cool. Why don't I send you a, a magazine? That's got a lot. It's a 38 pages, it's much more detailed. If you want me to give you that over, get the next tool in their hand. It should always be moving from one task to the next. So if the first tool doesn't do it, give them the next tool. If the second tool doesn't work, give them the third tool. Third tool, give them, the, you know, we're always moving to the next tool. And some folk will say no, brilliant, no for nows, we want them as well because we want to build your list for further down the line. So the no for nows, as we would call them, or people who don't apply, you just forward them in your diary for six months. Personally, in this cost of living crisis, I would be forwarding people for three months because people who today are fine in three months' time, if their mortgage rate changes or they're made redundant or this cost of living really starts to bite, Three months, you know, people's circumstances can dramatically change. 
So now all of my personal people I'm following up every three months. And it's just a touch base. It's not a pure, you know, when I follow back up, it's just a, hi, John, uh, we spoke, you know, this is what we are now, this is in February. Hi, John, we spoke in October time. Um, you'd said that, you, you know, you, you were fine, didn't need any extra income, no problem. Just thought I'd check in now to see if now's a better time. You'll either respond saying yes, ask for some more info, or continue to say no or stay silent, and I'll just forward them for another six months. We're only asking. We're not trying to convince. We're just showing people what you'd help with his offer and always staying in touch so that we're there when they need us. Now, if you get anyone that's responding, responding positively, get your upline support involved. Whoever introduced you to Utility Warehouse, if they're active, you get them involved in a three-way Zoom call, a three-way coffee, a, a three-way conversation. If your person that introduced you is not active, you go to the next person up the line. There's always support there. You know, I run the team. There's 1,500 of us. There's lots of cracking leaders in the Sack the Boss team. So there will always be people there to help and support you. But don't get yourself involved in a one-to-one -one conversation where you feel you're out your depth. We do want to have that prospect on a call. But if you're nervous, we get the third person on. They'll talk to your prospect. But because you're on that call as well, you learn. You learn because you hear the prospect ask questions, the mentor answer the questions. Just by you being on the call, you're listening to the kind of questions that get asked, how to apply to them, or skilling you up as well. And it's a process of sorting the yeses, the noes, the no for nows, the people that are silent. And all we want to do is teach these folk to do the same. It's about repeating the process. So once we recruit to somebody, we teach them the process, we support them through their supporting calls, we help them to introduce new team members, and that builds a my, massive legacy. Now, as I touched on there, when you're dealing with a positive prospect, it's about getting them on an appointment. So the minute that person said, yeah, do you know what, that sounds interesting, how does it work? No more chit-chat, straight on to an appointment. And the way you word it is, John, look great, let me show you. I'm sure you'll want to see exactly what it is that you would do if you were working with us, John. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. How soon have you got 20 minutes? Let's get you on a Zoom call and I can screen share with you. And if it's face-to-face, -face, go and meet them for a coffee, but do the presentation. Tell them your story. Your story is... I'm currently a radiologist. I'm getting really stressed with all the work that I'm getting burdened on. You know, my income's not keeping up with the cost of living. I love being a radiologist, but I found this utility warehouse business because it's going to give me that additional income stream that takes the pressure off. That's your story. So you need to figure out what your story is as well because it has to be personal. So my story, just if you want it, I was in car sales. Mercedes Benz and then Audi. I was doing 60, 70 hour weeks. I worked most weekends and I missed my children growing up. I've got two lovely teenagers, but I missed a lot of their early years. My story is you know how I sell cars and I'm working every hour God sends? Yeah, I know that, Doyle. Yeah, well, look, although I work every hour God sends, I know the only way I'm going to be able to change that is if I can build a bit different income stream that's going to retire me. So I started this utility warehouse business because it helps people build second income streams. Can I, can I let you see it? And that's all we're doing. We're just showing them. But by me telling them my story, now that guest that I'm about to present to doesn't maybe feel as if I'm trying to sell them something. I've told them the truth. I've told them, look, I was in a place where I was hurting. I was hurting in my current job. I've looked at this as an opportunity to change my life, and I'd love to share it with you. Then present the slides. uw.co.uk forward slash join. That should say forward slash join, not dot join. And uw.co.uk forward slash share. I go to join, the guest goes to share, I generate a code, I tell them the code, they type the code in at their end, it connects us together, we can now share the presentation, and as I say, the presentation, doing the slides, it's like a test drive. When you buy a car, you test drive it first to make sure you like it, you like the feel of it, it drives nice, you like the seating position, you don't really buy a car without test driving it. So cars for a long time, people don't tend to do that. And this is no different. Our job here is to get people to test drive UW, but they test drive it by seeing the slides, hearing who your UW are, why they why they even get started, 
how they do what they do, what it is they can do to help people. People need to see that story first before we go to the numbers. So we want to gain a decision after the test drive what UW do. We can only get a decision by asking the questions that are on the final slide of the presentation. And on the final slide of the presentation, it basically says, OK, guest, now that you've seen a bit more about utility warehouse, what do you want to do? Do you want to talk about saving money, making money, both or none? The person that you've showed it to is now going to give you a decision and you don't care what the decision is because you're organised. You've got my planner. So if the decision is yes, they want to join, you're going to sign them up as a customer. If the decision is yes, they want to join as a partner, you're going to sign up as a partner. If the decision is they don't know, you're going to give them some more tools so that they've got more information to look at, or you're going to connect them with your upline so that you can get some feedback from somebody else. And if they say no, because you're a professional, you're going to put them into your my planner, diary them for three months' time, and follow back up in three months' time to ask them, is now a better time? It's a really, really simple process. So, contact, repeat, contact, repeat, contact, repeat. That's all we're doing. Now, some stats for you, really important. Almost everyone in the utility warehouse is not sales trained, okay? Now, I am personally, but 99.9% .9 of the people in the utility warehouse are from no sales background. So here's some stats to let you understand why the repetition is critical. 48% of people that do business with another company don't, uh, sorry, 48% of people don't get followed up. They don't get followed up. They walk into a shop, they have a chat about looking to buy something, they decide maybe not to buy it, they leave the shop and the shop never phones them back to say, what do you think? They didn't even follow up. 25% only follow up twice. 12% only follow up three times. And only 10% follow up more than three times. But it's the bottom half of this that's vitally important for you to understand. I'll just go straight to the bottom line. 80% of all transactions are completed after the, uh, anywhere between the fifth and twelfth contact. Now, that one line is so important for your business because that means... If you join this, have a conversation with somebody, and because they don't join straight away as a customer or a partner, you think that that's that conversation finished, you're shooting yourself in the foot. My planner is there so that that person that says no on the first exposure goes into my planner to remind you to follow them back up on the second, then the third, then the fourth, then the fifth. Because if most of the business is done between the fifth and the twelfth, it's about getting to the fifth. And you know what? Big companies know this. Because if you watch telly, you'll notice all the adverts we see are repeated. If there's an advertising campaign on for Sky, for example, you know, with the minions, we've all seen those adverts. It tends to be on every channel all through the day, repeated, the same advert. They don't just do the one advert once. Oh, Dale's seen that advert, so we won't broadcast it in his postcode area again. No. They bombard it in my postal gold area consistently because they know they need to get me to see that advert multiple times before I'm even going to think about maybe considering somebody like Sky as my supplier. It works the exact same way for you. So please understand these laws of averages because if you come in at this with the, the amateur mentality of, oh, I'll speak to this, oh, they don't want, oh, it's fine, I'll speak, oh, they don't want, oh, fine, and then you quickly give up. You've just wasted your time, the person who introduced you, and more importantly, you've given away a huge opportunity to change your financial circumstances. But if you've been educated when you started, as I'm trying to do with this video, you understand that it's about being organized, keeping a track of your conversations, of using the tools, not talking as much, make sure you get the right things in people's hands, following back up, being there for when the time is right you're going to make a small fortune and you're going to help so many people change their financial circumstances. And that is the real win. The real win is seeing your team grow and seeing the people in your team come back to you and thank you so much for this opportunity because it's starting to really change their lifestyles. And that makes you feel really good. And I promise that will happen to you if you stay in the game and you understand these stats. Now, some ways of contacting folk. There's a difference between fishing and hunting, okay? Fishing is being engaging, 
uh, not sounding salesy, you know, offering to help people. And if you are going to use social media, talking about perks, incentives, wins, you know, being attractive. Whereas hunting is when you're posting sales messages, sounding salesy, you know, you post about deals, you, you're perceived by your audience that you're really just hunting for the commission at the back of the transaction when you are, you know, come across as very direct and salesy. It's also quite boring. People don't like to be sold broadband and energy and stuff like that on their Facebook group by a friend. It also destroys your social engagement and the algorithm because if you start posting sales messages on your social media, nobody will interact with it. So therefore, you, the algorithm sees that and it means the next time you post stuff, now it doesn't even go in people's feeds. So that starts to really destroy your engagement ratings. Whereas if you're sharing wins about somebody in the team that's just qualified for a holiday or somebody else in cross team, you know, it doesn't need to be your story. You could You could have just started but be like, oh my God, I'm so, I'm so inspired to see people in, in the company qualifying from these luxury holidays. You know, that's the kind of thing that might get me, oh, what, what, you might, somebody might ask in the comments, who's, how you get luxury holidays? It creates engagement. So just think about the differences when you're talking to people. Are you a fisherman? Or are you hunting? You go out with a shotgun, trying to grab people. Just think of how you act because I promise you, having tried both routes, you know, I'm a salesman, I can do the hunting route. My business started to flourish when I started fishing. Started being engaging, started sharing the wins that people in the in UW are getting, and it started to attract inquiries to me rather than me having to chase people. Because there is a difference if you think about it. Would you not love to wake up every day with a message in one of your social media platforms saying, tell me more about that business you're involved in? That only happens if you become engaging and refish. Whereas when you hunt, people unfollow you, people unfriend you. And lastly, routes to fill in your diary. Fill in your diary is vitally important. Your diary for the next seven days always has to have stuff in it. If it doesn't have things in it, you're not building your business. This is proactive. People will not come to you. You need to make sure you're doing the activity to create the inquiries so that you can put things in your diary. I've color-coded them, read the warm list. Your business plan, that's your go-to. It's the easiest place by a country mile. Think about it. These people know you, so you're not having to go through the barriers of dealing with people who don't know you or trust you. They know you. Everyone uses the services. Everyone's looking to make more money. They're going to be your easiest conversations, your easiest wins. We can also do 20K giveaway events. But again, there's costs involved. You're out there standing. You're putting your own time into it. You're getting a lot of rejection in the stand because, you know, it's cold market. People are avoiding you. They maybe don't want to come and talk to you. Next time we've got business networking. I joined BNI. That worked really well for me. Uh, so I would definitely advise BNI. Uh, it's expensive. It's about £1,000 to join, then £50, £60 a month. But it made me way, way more than it cost me because it's, it's lots of people are now going to start handing you referrals. So you get leads every time you go to your weekly meeting which is great. So you're just, you know, cashing the checks essentially because you're building your team and you're helping all these people save money. But there's also four networking. There's local business networking, Rotary, City Chambers, Federation of Small Business. So it, wherever you are in the UK, you'll have a City Chambers locally. You'll have a Federation of Small Business locally. You'll have a Rotary lo locally. And if you want to Google and put local business networking, a pile of stuff. Online networking, face-to-face -face networking, loads of choices, Okay. Your job is to create fresh interactions. And the only reason I went cold after a while is because I had exhausted my warm list. Yeah? You should only be going cold after you've spoke to everybody you know, past and present. Once you've wrote the 200, managed to spend the time getting to all those people, adding, because you, as, you, you know, as you build your list, more names pop into your head. You maybe forget about a workplace that you were, oh, God, I forgot I worked there as well. Oh, and I remember her on the reception. Get her name down. You know, it's about your warm list is by far the easiest. After networking, we've got neighbor letters. Neighbor letters, really simple. Get some marketing material, post it through the door, wait 24 hours, follow back up, ring the door with a copy of what you posted and ask them, did they read it? 
they'll either say yes they did, no they didn't, and then it's about you taking that conversation to offer and to show them how you can save them money or making money. But again, the blue sections are way more difficult than the red. Okay, it's where I've color coded them. And the last thing, social media. Look, social media is something in today's world it's quite good, but Historically, it's never been something we use to build our business. So most of the people you see that are successful did not use social media to get to where they are. Yes, we use it today, but it does take consistently. And that whole fishing, hunting thing is dead important in social media. Post sales messages, nobody interacts, you kill your engagement. Be attractive, attract people to you. People comment, you create conversations. They start being curious about what you're doing. They start asking you about saving money and making money much simpler, much easier. Okay, so look, just to close off, I've got a website, sacktheboss.co.uk forward slash support. All the tools you will need to build your business are on that website. Uh, there's a copy of this video as well. There's also links to join our team Facebook group. There's a group I run. I please, I, I please, I ask you to join that because it's by seeing other people's success and seeing the tips and the hints from being in that group with the hundreds of other partners that it's going to build your confidence, build your momentum, so that you know you can build this business. Um, let me stop that share for a wee second. So, in closing off. This business works if you work it, okay? $70,000, loads of people had success, some folk had failure, but when we look through the differences, it's about who did what, who followed the process and who didn't. And I always say it like this, you know, scrambled eggs is the easiest thing in the world to make. Easiest thing in the world to make, as long as you follow the process. Crack the eggs, open them and put it in. But what if you just took the egg and you fling it in the bowl and start whisking it without cracking the egg? You're going to get a terrible dish because you didn't follow the system. A simple process destroyed because you thought you knew better. You didn't follow the system. So I urge you, follow the process, do what works, copy the leaders, change your life, change your life financially for the better. An extra £500 a month, I'm sure, would make a real difference to you. An extra £1,000 a month, an extra £2,000 a month. Or you might decide to do what I've done and take it a little bit more seriously really treat it like a business and have a business that's doing millions of pounds a year in annual sales and you're getting paid royalty income on that turnover. So look, I hope this video helps. Um, my phone number is also on the sacktheboss.co.uk forward slash support page at the very bottom. I run a WhatsApp group, happy to help and support anyone that wants to join it. But look, the more you interact, the more you attend your local buzz event, you engage with partners that are successful, the more this business will change your life. All right, take it from me. Other than that, I have a lovely day. I hope you find this beneficial and I wish you all the best in your utility warehouse journey. Take it easy.